There are two models developed for representing synchronous sequential circuits and we will talk about these two models in depth. In this presentation I will dictate one model and in the next presentation we will talk about the another one. So what are these two models? Let me write the names of these two models. The first one is the Mohr circuit M -O -O -R -E circuit and it is also called as Mohr state machines state machines and the second one is the mealy m e a l y circuit or it is called as the mealy state machine okay these are the two models that we have to see and they are very important if i talk about the state diagrams so what are these two models and how they are different from each other the main question is how they are different from each other so they differ only in the way the output is generated you already know what a sequential circuit it consists of the combinational circuit and a memory block the memory block is nothing but your flip-flops and uh, if you want to calculate the output okay then it may depend upon the input and definitely the present state but sometimes it doesn't depend upon the input and in that case we call it the Moore circuit so let me write this important point down the difference between these two circuit is uh, only in the way the output is generated so we have to see how the output is being generated in the more circuit and how the output is being generated in the melee circuit so we will first see the output of the more circuit and in this case the output is the function of the present state only the output is the function i want you to write these points down so that it may help you later the output is the function of present state only okay here only is there so it only depends upon the present state whereas in case of melee state machines the output the output is the function is the function of present state as well as the input okay so this is the main difference between the melee and the more state machines and in this presentation we will talk about the more state machine and in the next presentation we will see what is the melee machine so here you can see a block diagram is there of the sequential circuit of course and uh, this combinational logic is there which we call as the next state combinational logic sometimes also called as the next state decoder the next state of the sequential circuit will be decided upon the logic given here and whatever be the next state is stored here and uh, the one important thing that you can see here is the another combinational logic and depending upon which the output is being generated and here you can clearly see that the output is only the function of this present state this is my present state the present state is stored in this memory and the output you can see is only determined by the value of this present state there is no impact of this input directly on the output the input is not given in this combinational logic so the output is function of only the present state and that's what we have written here the output is the function of only present state so this shows the Moore model of the sequential circuit. Now I will show you one example in which we will try to find out whether it is a Moore circuit or it is a Mealy circuit. So I will paste it down. This is the example in which I have used the T flip flops and some gates. So let's try to find out what is the next state combinational logic in this circuit, in this sequential circuit and what is the output combinational logic so let's try to find that thing first you can see here the input is a a is given to this two logic gates and uh, this is our next state logic combinational logic and uh, this or gate is our output combinational logic so we have found out these things and now we will try to find out the value of y 
on what factor y has been depending. So here you can see there are two inputs to this OR gate. A two input OR gate is being used and the output that is our y, this is our output, is the output of this OR gate. So whatever be the input to this OR gate is going to give our y if we or them so the first input is q b complement you can clearly see so q b complement and the second input to this or gate is this one that is my q a you can see it is coming in this way and going as the second input to this gate so q a so y is my q b complement or q a you can see a here no, there is no A in this expression. The Y is independent of, in the pen, dent of A, that is our input. So it is clearly a Moore model or the Moore state machine. So this is how you have to check whether it is a Moore state machine or it is a Milli state machine. And if you want to make the state diagram, then definitely there will be some changes in the state diagram that we will see now. If you have a normal or you can say that the original state diagram having four states, let me draw these four states and we will see what changes we have to make to make it the Moore state diagram. And in this four states, let's say this is our 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. Okay, and uh, depending upon the inputs, the output has been generated and also the state will change from one to another. Let me complete it randomly, 0, 0. This 0 is my input, this 0 is my output. Then I'm going from 0 to 1, 1. If the input is 1 and then output will be 0. I'm on 1 and I will be on 1. If input is 1 and then output will be 0. 1, 1 to 1, 0 for the input 0. Same state for the input 1. 1, 0 to 0, 1 for the input 0. And 0, 1 to 0, 0 for 1. And the last thing is this. Now this is a uh, original state diagram and I want a uh, more state diagram by using this state diagram. So what changes we have to do? We have to remove this output from here and we have to put it under this state. So let's see how it looks. I will just make the bigger circles because I need to put the output inside this circle let make it a little bit more bigger and uh, then I will write the state 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 and then the change is here I have to make the output appearing inside this state okay so 0 is my output you can see 0 is the output and uh, 1 0 0 and the rest thing will be same the inputs 0 and then 1 1 and it is my 0 then 1 0 0 and finally 1 this is my input this 0 here is my output so this is simply more state diagram and you have learned what changes you have to make to convert it to a more state diagram a modified state diagram for a more circuit you can say from the original state diagram so this is all that you need to know about the more state machines and I hope you got it if you have any problem you can ask it in the comment section I hope it is clear to you because it's not that much tough thing to understand it's very easy only thing we have to remember is the output the output is the function of present state only and where the present state is been stored it is stored in the flip-flop our memory block okay so it's very simple nothing to worry about and we will see the merely state machines in the next presentation